Play, Julia drinks a potion which makes her appear to be dead. Romeo, thinking he's lost his young bride, poisons himself. And when Juliet wakes up and sees the lifeless Romeo, she drives a dagger through her heart. That is so beautiful! That is so idiotic! Don't forget to review the balcony scene for next week. See you on Monday! What didn't you like about it, Odd? It's a wonderful love story, isn't it? That's just it, Eileen. It's a story! Killing yourself for love? That's dumb. That's because you haven't met a girl who loves you enough to die for you. Listen, if you ask me, nobody would die for love. Would you be ready to die for you, me, Ulrich? Better believe it. Well, I'm, that is... Hi, what are you guys talking about? Oh, about tragedy and true love, and Ulrich was just saying... That it's totally idiotic. Hmm? Hey, Alita, I think I figured out a way for improving source logarithms, and I could use your help. That sounds great. But first, let's have lunch. <laughs> Do you think Aelita and Jeremy would be ready to die for each other? For love, I don't know. They might die of boredom, though. Hey, look, what's that all about? It's really interesting. Yeah, come on, what's your name? How long are you here for? Can you speak English? <laughs> I'd love to show you around. I'd love no, to show you around. Don't no, not show that. Don't let me show you around. Show you around. Is Iceland wow, around? give me a break. You know, sissy, Who is she? Like... Sissy's overseas pen pal. She's visiting for four days. Her name is Bringa Erad, uh, Erud, uh, whatever. Bringa Erin's got here, and she's from Iceland. And Sissy's just eating it up. Thanks to Bringa, she's getting lots of attention. Yeah, only this time, the boys aren't interested in her. Okay, the show's over. I'll take Bringa to her room. <laughs> time to wake up, you two. Yeah. What'd you say? Are you saying then that your program lets you modify gamma waves? Yeah, that's right. Which means we could have a much faster virtualization and more... Wow. What? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> hey, you let me through, huh? Huh? Hmm. Thank you. Oh, she said thank you to me. I wonder what the boys see in that string bean. Look at the girls. They're all chasing after her to find out her beauty secret. I'd like to sit down if you don't mind. Let me through, will you? Mm -hmm. Sorry, sissy. This seat is taken. I'm holding on to because Rinka promised that she would sit with me during the dessert. Well, this weekend is R&R &R for me. Rest and recuperation, yes, sir. You're not going to the pool tomorrow with Miss Iceland? Seems everyone's going. No, oh, I've got better things to do, like hours and hours of sleep. No, oh, sorry. Where are you going, huh, creepo? Sissy, one of these days, someone is gonna... <laughs> oh, this is all right. <sighs> I tell you, she's something else. She's gorgeous and slim, and her hair's like gold. Hey, did you see those deep, clear green eyes? Absolutely incredible. Wow. And did you get a look at that beautiful, soft skin she has? But it's not just beautiful. Beautiful's not the word. She's, I don't know, she's, well, she's... You mean ugly? <laughs> <laughs> you talk about her as if she's the eighth wonder of the world. Oh. That's right. Those are the words I was looking for. Bringa is the eighth wonder of the world. Odd, uh, are you sure you don't have a problem with... <laughs> a slightly overheated brain? Yeah, that's what I meant. It's not my fault I caught Bringa's eye and you didn't. She really has fried your brain. Can't you see that she comes on strong to everyone? You know something? You're just jealous, good buddy. Oh, there you are, Odd. Are those your friends? I'd like to meet them. Why, sure, Bringa. Ailida, Yumi. Hello. Bringa. Ulrich and Jeremy. Are you the one whose name is Einstein? You look very intelligent. 
Yeah? Ulrich, uh, you're the one who likes to do martial arts. Perhaps you could give me a demonstration. I'd be, I'd be, uh, okay. It is nice to get to know all of you. Shall we go for a walk, Adaskier? Askier? That means sweetheart. <laughs> I really wonder what she sees in that shrimp. Yeah, you're right. Brinka needs somebody a little more intellectually developed. Do you guys realize you're talking about your friend? Jealous, both of you. I don't believe it. I've got fried brains, Jeremy. You take the cake. You're wrong, Ailita. I was just working out the statistical probability of a girl as pretty and charming as Bringa falling in love with a guy like Odd. Look at you, Ulrich. Ever since that blonde ice cube showed up here, you've turned into a doormat. Me? I have not. Anyway, I don't know why you should care. After all, we're just good friends, that's all. What is it with girls this year? They're right, you know. Hmm? That Brink has really started messing with our heads. Episode. Odd, we have to talk seriously. It's true. Ever since you started going out with Bringa, there's been a lot of friction in our group, and, uh, and that's not very good for our mission. Your girlfriend is coming between us, and now we think uh, the best thing for you to do is to break up with Juliet now, Romeo. You actually want me to stop seeing Bringa just because you guys can't get along? It's not her fault or mine either. The problem is you and your jealousy. Odd, wait, it's a big problem. Maybe for you, but not for me. In fact, I have a date with your problem. So ciao! Oh, you look a little upset. Huh? If you don't want to go out... Sure I do, it's just that my friends are acting so lame. Come on, let's go. The program will run all night. We'll have to wait till tomorrow. Still thinking about Odd? I was wondering if our little gang will survive this eighth wonder of the world. Honestly, I wouldn't worry. Odd's romances last an average of two days. I don't know. I think that girl has turned our Casanova into a Romeo. You have such a sad face all night. You're not happy to be with me? Sure I am. I was just thinking about the fight I had with my buddies. Don't worry. Sometimes you make friends, sometimes you lose them. You make new ones. Well, they're not just any old pals. They're real friends, and real friends count a lot more for me, Bringa. That is true, but your real friends have made you very sad. Now that we are together, you don't need them. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's really different with them. You wouldn't understand. Well, then explain it to me. What is the matter? Don't you trust me, Odd? Uh, well, you see, we're, we're kind of like an army <laughs> of warriors. Warriors? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Forget I ever said it. I thought that you trusted me, but you don't... Bring a wait! <laughs> okay, let me show you something. And maybe you'll see why my friends are so special. But you've got to swear to keep it a secret. <laughs> Here we are! Ta-da! <sighs> oh, this is incredible! What is this place? Uh, it's kind of complicated. I'm not sure I understand it all. They're pretty top-secret scientific experiments, uh, ultra-secret phenomena, digital kind of stuff. Wow. Hmm? No, bring it! Don't touch anything! All right, Odd, I'm not an idiot. But the supercomputer was doing something. What did you do? Me? Nothing at all. I hardly touched the keyboard. Okay, I think we better go now. I haven't seen anything yet. Let's go. Please bring a... Hmm. <laughs> Gotta get up. Activated tower in sector. Well, that's weird. There isn't any activated tower. Okay, Ulric, you can go back to sleep. False alarm. I don't get it. You sure you heard the alarm? I'm sure, I'm sure. And I don't think my computer's gone paranoid. So that's why we've got to hurry and find out what's going on. Okay, still no activated tower. Now let me check the log. Bingo! There's a system alert, all right, but not from this morning. It was at 12.36 last night. Interesting. Huh?
This is getting weirder every second. Look, the supercomputer says that there's an activated tower in the desert sector. But in terms of digital activity, nothing's going on. What's the cause of these false alarms? You think it's a virus? Could have been a problem with the program that we launched last night. But I don't get it. I checked everything out. Here are my calculations. Oh, no. What is it? What's wrong? The program has been modified. Some sort of parasitic foreign data was entered into the supercomputer. Someone came here last night for sure. Hmm. Uh oh. Looks like Odd made a big fat mistake. No, I think his mistake is more like skinny and blonde. No, bring it. Don't touch anything. Only you're too late, Odd. Well, no need to look any further, Jeremy. Odd gave away our secret. It was Bringa. By touching the keyboard, she modified my program, and that's what messed up the supercomputer. Can you fix it, Jeremy? Yeah, but the problem is that it might take a little while, and of course, during that time, Xana could activate a tower. Though it could be another false alarm. Yes, but we can't be sure. Send me to Lyoko. Uh-uh, too risky. But not knowing what Xana could be up to is even riskier. You need someone there, like before we had the super scan. Yeah, you're probably right. Get in. The activated tower should be in the northwest part of the forest sector. Gotcha! Transfer, Aelita. Scanner, Aelita. Virtualization. <laughs> Jeremy, you made a mistake. You sent me to the ice sector. No, I didn't make a mistake. I virtualized you in the forest sector. Who you really have a huge problem. Jeremy, what's up? He must be with his Icelandic icicle. Huh? Be right there. Odd took the eighth wonder of the world to the factory, and guess what? She tweaked the supercomputer. <laughs> Sissy, you haven't seen Odd around, have you? I sure have. He's in the park with my pen pal. Where are you, Aelita? I don't feel any pulsations. I don't think there's a problem. Okay, then. I'm gonna bring you back in right now. I don't like your being all alone in Lyoko. Materialization, Aelita. <sighs> oh no, Jeremy. Another major problem. Believe it or not, I'm in the mountain sector. And I'm not alone, either. Okay, Alita, I'll warn the others. Odd! Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, guys! How was the movie last night? Which one was it? Uh, Jurassic Experiment. Oh, yeah? You sure it wasn't two rats in the factory? Uh, no, what makes you say that? Because Jeremy's got the whole film on video. The actors are the spitting image of you two lovebird. Anything to say for yourself? Hey, listen, it's not what you think. I was gonna tell you about it. What's in that head of yours, Sawdust? The supercomputer is on the blink. Odd, you have just betrayed your way out of our group. But what is the problem? Yes, we visited your mysterious laboratory, but that's not the end of the world. For your information, it could be the end of the world. I've had enough of these stories. I'm going to the swimming pool. Well, Odd, are you coming or not? Hmm. I, um, I'm really sorry. Oh. Jeremy? Well, things could be better. Huh? But why did you send her out alone? Be right there. What's the matter today? I think everyone's gone crazy. Hmm. Hang in there, Aelita. Ulrich and Yumi are on the way. I'll be finished fixing the supercomputer really soon. Just a couple of minutes. A couple of minutes? Survival out here is a matter of a few microseconds. <laughs>
Okay, you're going in right now. Eileen is in big trouble in the mountain sector. Just a second, Einstein. How do you plan on sending us there if the supercomputer's all messed up? No idea. I'm trying to fix it, but we have to risk it. If not, Ailita will be at the mercy of William. Another crazy idea. Gets better and better. Transfer Ulrich. Transfer Yumi. Scanner Ulrich. Scanner Yumi. Virtualization. Hey, didn't you say the mountain sector? Speaking of bright ideas, Einstein. Sorry, guys. Chill, Ulrich, okay? It's not Jeremy's fault. Don't forget, we could have wound up in the digital sea, too. I can always try to bring you back in and then send you to the right sector. No, we can't take the chance. We'll find our own way. Just point us in the right direction. Okay, the way tower is due south from your present position. <sighs> Listen, Aelita, I'm almost through fixing the supercomputer. You okay? No, I'm not okay at all. Finally gonna have your company for good. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, breathtaking experience. Shut up, Polyakov. <laughs> hey, Ulrich, Yumi, go real easy, okay? If you guys get devirtualized before I can fix the program, I'm not sure that I can bring you back to Earth again. <laughs> then you're telling us this now? What's the bad news? How can I possibly ask for more? I'm gonna get three birds with one sword. We'll see about that. It's been seen to. Could you use my help? Odd, you're not exactly welcome around here. I'm sorry, but I have no time to chat with you. Well, that's great. Then let's not waste any time and virtualize me right away. Our friends must need help. Okay, but with the supercomputer down, you could be virtualized anywhere at all. That's my problem. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
moment of truth, I guess. Yeah! Transfer us! Virtualization! I'm afraid of that popsicle stick. Just what you're gonna say. I betrayed you, and I'm a total lamo, and I should be kicked out of the group. And you're right, too, guys. I should never have shown the supercomputer to bring a. It's unforgivable! Well, no. You simply forgot that inside that head of yours, there happens to be a brain. You're not the only one who was lame. We were just too jealous of you. Yeah, we all went a bit too far because of Bringa. Well, I forgive you, Odd. I mean, you saved me from William. Well, still friends? Yeah, still <laughs> friends. Mm. There is a way to fix the mess I made. A little return to the past, hmm? Oh, that won't be necessary, I don't think. Hmm? Bye, 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 Have a great trip! Yeah, bon voyage! Can you believe that? She completely forgot to say goodbye to me! Well, now do you see why I'm not worried about the supercomputer on? Who cares about her anyway? There's no shortage of girls around here. Hey, sissy, I thought that Bringer was going to stay here for four days. Well, let's just say I convinced my father to send her out of town to my cousin's place. She wanted to see the countryside, so why not? I guess for you, that's a real relief. Because now that Bringer's gone, she can't steal the show. You may not believe it odd, but it was really a pleasure. You know, I sometimes envy you, too. Hmm? Because being surrounded by guys all the time could never happen to you. Hmm. Ah, no, now that's the sissy we all love. How could I have flipped over Bringer? Get away from me! Sissy! Pringle. Sissy, wait! Where for out there, you <laughs> Uh-oh, odds gone bananas again. We better watch out, guys. <laughs>